Hey guys, it's Joshy here, and I'm back with another Ultra Sun Ultra Moon Wi Fi battle. So, this one was against Echoed off Discord, and um, it was a pretty sweet battle. I really enjoyed it, to be honest, and it was something worth showing. So, guys, if you do enjoy this one today, I think. I think we're going to start with the early move, so let's high jump kick that battle, uh, but that battle button, that like button! You know what, high jump kick that battle button, I'm happy to battle more often as well. Uh, don't forget as well, Discord, Twitch and Twitter is linked below, and use the comment section, because I love hearing from you guys. So anyway, Eckhard's, Eckhard, wow words today, are gonna is going to lead off with his pyro, which I was afraid of, because I actually just chucked the team together, and let me tell you, fire was a problem. So I started off with Serena, this is my choice band, then he misses, I'm like, what the hell, high jump kick, yes, no, what, yes, I was so happy with this start, I was like, piss off, I am never that lucky, thank you, luck, I'm just, you know, lucky, I'm coming for ya, so, as I said in the title, lucky or not, here I come, so anyway, Bronzong comes in, I'm like, you know what, this is great, high jump kick again, and I miss, I'm like, well, <laughs> that fleeting moment of luck has passed, and that was just, uh, Nice to be lucky for a moment anyway. So I'm going to get poison, which is fine, you know, toxic. I'm like, I am i don't really want to swap. Um, probably would have been a smarter idea to swap, especially my choice banded Serena, but I, I want to stay in. So I thought I'll get another high jump kick off. I should be able to get a decent chunk of damage. I do have a half, which is fantastic. And then uh, now I'm going to get confused. So I was like, okay, well, hopefully I can get another one off, take him down, you know, see what happens. So, as long as I don't miss again, um, I'm looking at it and I'm like, ooh, it's going to be very close if I hit him if he dies or not. Um, I should be able to live one more poison as well. You know, turn a toxic, so I was like, just going to hit him, don't miss, don't miss. But, instead, Serena has the idea of just going to give herself a quick slap just to make sure she's paying attention. And we're going to get hit with a heavy slam, which is actually really cool. I like that move. But, Serena's going down. I wasn't too... Well, actually, I was still extremely happy because I got rid of the fire Pokemon because that was the problem. And I can't believe he missed fire thing and I hit. But anyway, I thought, time to bring in Makago. Now it's my turn to bring my fire one in. So I actually really like Makago. I think, unfortunately, just typing, giving him two four times weakness is a bit upsetting. But I really do like Makago. So I'm going to go for the flamethrower. I'm so annoyed it didn't take him out because now I'm going to be poisoned, which does suck. Now, this Makago is actually really interesting. I am a defensive wall Makago. If I want to be with Iron Defense, Recover, Flamethrower, and uh, Will-O-Wisp. So I'd really love to get him in a battle down to a point where someone's left with only a physical attacker and I can really get it going my way. But anyway, I'm going to go for the Flamethrower again and take him out. Now, obviously, lefties or things like that could really, really help on this set. But no, I'm running Fire EMZ because I really do like just pulling out that there. I guess, again, I could definitely run other things, but I just wanted to run Fire EMZ. So anyway, Poi po Poi is going to come in. And I know this is genuine shiny one. He found it the other day. I was... I was um, Pretty excited when I saw he got this guy. Now, I really want to work to one of these on um, Sun when I get up to it, but I'm just lazy and haven't done it. So I got a Will O Wisp off. I didn't know what set he was running, but I thought at least if I can slowly knock him down with that, that's a start. I know I'm poisoned. Um, I could swap, but I don't really want to swap anything into his incoming attack, considering, as I said, Makago is poisoned. So I thought I'll probably go down here, but that's fine. I can just. At least I burnt him, as I said, I can wear him down even if I had to delay him. But I do live, which is nice, as I said, I am, I believe, max HP, max defense. And if not max defense, um, I have at least investment in those two and maybe a little bit in special attack. But I thought, let's just pull out this Z move, let's get as big a chunk I can off with Infernal Overdrive. Now, I'm assuming this is a defensive Poi Pol. I mean, you can run a lot of different sets with Poi Pol, that's the thing, because being the only Eviolite available, um, Ultra Beast, that's what they're called. Um, you know, you can do a lot with him. So anyway, I'm going to go down to the Poison there. He's going to take a little bit more there, but thankfully for going down to the Poison as well, Poipol does not get his Beast Boost off, which could be a big thing, depending what his stat is. So I bought him Pidgey, but as I said, I'm not 100% sure, though looking at that U-turn damage, I say I probably would have taken him out, but I didn't really want to give him that chance of... Um, living just and then getting his boost but then you know I just didn't want to lose Pidgey yet really so anyway he's gonna go for the sludge wave which actually was fine it did more damage than I thought because I am a salt vested Roserade but that doesn't matter again because 
Uh, this range, I'm definitely going to take out Poipole. So that's good. That thing, that little egg is no longer. I actually, it makes me think of an egg with that white and yellow, but love little guy. Um, so now Persian's coming in. I'm like, okay, well, I'm over half. I think I should be all right. So he's going to go for fake out. And I was like, okay, well, maybe not so much. Looking at that damage, I'm like, mm, who knows with it being stabbed. Maybe he's technician. Um, I believe Persian does get that. Pretty sure. I need to make a Persian set. I haven't done Persian. I like Persian. Anyway, I'm going down to the area lace. So, I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to bring in my Chinchino here. It's time to play a little bit of fun games. So, I thought he'd... I wasn't sure if he'd stay in or swap. I thought for at least the first one he'd stay in. So, he actually ends up swapping into Regina, which is his Serena. And I'm actually just going to go for the Mud Slap. So, I thought, okay, well, now he's seen the Mud Slap. I've lowered his um, accuracy. I'm expecting him to possibly swap out. So, I thought I'll go for the Shockwave because he does actually, his last Pokemon, he does have a Flying type. But, I was wrong. And he's going to go for the Trop Kick. And takes a large chunk of damage, only leaves me on 27. I get the attack drop, but I'm actually my special attacking Chinchino. So I thought, you know what, let's go for another Mud Slap. Um, he's now going to be guessing. Swapping into that wouldn't be a too bad thing, but I just don't want... So he goes for a Rapid Spin. That turn, I didn't actually notice it. So I thought I'd just... I ended up going for a Shockwave again, thinking maybe now he'll swap because he's missed. No, nope, he's still stayed in. He went for rapid spin. He misses again. That turn, I was like, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm getting this disrespect kill. And I was like, oh, okay, you go for that. So I thought, I'll go for round. Hit him again. I'll be able to take him out. Unfortunately, he gets the rapid spin off, which does suck. But fortunately for me, I live. So I'm like, yeah, disrespect that, bish. So now I'm able to get the um, round off. And I'm able to get rid of Regina. So I'm like, woohoo. Okay. I mean, obviously, if he got me with a trop kick, but now he's going to bring in his Scyther. So, I was like, good, let's see what happens. So, I'll go for Shockwave. I actually outspeed, which I was like, good, thought so, but still good. Do over half, and then he goes for Focus Energy. I'm like, mate, you're wasted a Scyther. How silly is that? So, I was like, yeah, cool. Okay, and then he pulls out the Vacuum Wave. I'm like, or maybe not. I didn't think of that, and that's really cool. So, he's going to take me out there with a crit, but... I, I'm not phased, I'm not bothered, because that was really cool. I did like that. So, I'm going to bring in Pidgey here, because obviously Mighty Pidgey needs to do the work. So, Scyther's going to go for Vacuum Wave again. Um, I was really confident I'd live it, which, even with a crit, I do. Not the best live, but I am Pidgey. I am the god old Pidgey, this, this beautiful goddess, I should say. And she's going to go for Brave Bird, and from that range, that Scyther ain't living. So, that Scyther down, and he's left with one Pokemon left. Now, I, um... I was thought this turn was where he sent it out, and I really thought about it, and I thought, no, I really need full HP for my last Pokemon, so I am going to take this fake out here onto the Pidgey. Unfortunately, losing my beautiful Pidgey, but that is fine. She did her hell of a work that she needed to, and so I'll bring in my Vile Plume. Now, the only positive about possibly swapping in is I do have um, Effect Spores, so that could have activated, and I am a bit of a defensive bulk, but... Now I'm like, oh no, as soon as I saw the Z-Move screen come up, I knew it was going to be Fly MZ, and I was, I was happy, but I was also sad. So I'm like, oh gosh, I don't know how hard this is going to hit. This is going to be, what, 120 base power, super effective move. At least it's not stab, but at the same time, it's like, let's see. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, wow, okay, that literally only took half. I was really surprised, and I went for Drain Punch, so now I know that... You know, if he took a little bit more, I could have maybe got faulted by a technician or anything next turn. So that's why I went for the Drain Punch. But now Drain Punch is definitely going to be enough. So he goes for the Slash, simply hoping for that critical hit, which I don't think would have mattered anyway. And I'm able to actually finish Persian off there with the Drain Punch. So I was like, yes, I am extremely happy with that. I, I actually was really worried, as I said, when that Fly MZ came up. But... I love seeing different Pokemon use Fly MZ. So guys, as I said earlier, if you did enjoy that, please do high jump, kick that like button. Um, and if you want, jump onto a Battling Me. Uh, Discord is the best place to hit me up, but you can hit me up on other forms of social media. That's linked below as well. Comment section. Uh, also, do not forget, if you like these battles or like seeing a heap of different stuff, I mean, I am... I am so busy at the moment, I'm trying to make sure everything's balanced, I'm getting stuff out to you guys, but you can easily subscribe by clicking the sub button if you want to. But anyway guys, until my next video, I'll see ya.